Hello there. It seems the European Union is suffering from a bout of disunity. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. It seems that MEPs in the EU Parliament are not at all impressed with the way the EU Council has handled the tying of rule of law requirements into the EU budget. If you recall, all but two of the EU27, that's Poland and Hungary, wanted budget payments made to member states to be dependent on their record of following EU rule of law requirements. That basically means they would have to toe the line or pay money in and get nothing out. And member states have no sovereignty concerning the rule of law that is centrally driven and centrally decided. The European Commission explains. The rule of law is one of the fundamental values of the Union enshrined in Article 2 of the Treaty on European Union. It is also a prerequisite for the protection of all the other fundamental values of the Union, including for fundamental rights and democracy. Respect for the rule of law is essential for the very functioning of the EU, for the effective application of EU law, for the proper functioning of the internal market, for maintaining an investment-friendly environment and for mutual trust. The core of the rule of law is effective judicial protection, which requires the independence, quality and efficiency of national justice systems. And as a consequence, the EU Commission runs a justice scoreboard where it measures and reports on the metrics it has decided are important. And there's a whole heap of metrics. But at the moment, the mechanism for enforcing those rule of law requirements is pretty toothless. Hence the call for it to be tied to budget payments. And the EU Commission goes on to say... The EU Justice Scoreboard provides objective and comparable information on the independence, quality and efficiency of national justice systems and is used as a reference in the European semester and will be one of the sources in the upcoming Rule of Law report. As announced in the communication on further strengthening the rule of law within the Union, a blueprint for action, the EU Justice Scoreboard will be further developed in the relevant rule of law related areas. And tying that to the budget framework would be an excellent way to install a single and uniform legal system throughout the EU, don't you think? despite the claims that it is up to member states to decide how to run their own judiciaries. Anyway, back to point. Because Hungary and Poland threatened to veto the budget if it contained hard and fast ties between the rule of law commitments and payments from the new 1.8 trillion euro budget, the EU Council in the end agreed to fudge it and MEPs who have previously argued for much stricter rule of law mechanisms have not received this well. They're looking at voting for a resolution saying, The content of the European Council conclusions on the regulation on a general regime of conditionality for the protection of the Union budget is superfluous. Meaning as far as MEPs are concerned, the EU Council isn't up to the job of protecting EU rule of law. It's an internal EU institution versus EU institution spat, and long may it continue. There are also calls from MEPs for the EU Council to have no say in this matter, that the decision on how to tie rule of law commitments into the budget should be removed from the EU Council. And that would reduce the power of the EU Council itself and the say that each member state's elected leaders have within the EU structure. Arch-EU files such as Guy Verhofstadt would relish such a move as it would be a lurch towards the EU empire he so craves. But there will be many member state ministers who would not be so keen to see their country's system of government further hollowed out. 
and Eurosceptics would not be at all happy, as they would recognise that such a move would be the start of a slide down a very slippery slope. Those that thought Brexit would leave a more united European Union in its wake may end up very disappointed. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. So what do you think about this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching.